In this video, I'm going to show you how to reset the default admin password. If the password 456 doesn't work, how do you get into the phone? I'm going to show you how to do that with a reset procedure. As you can see, 456 doesn't work. Before you hold on to 1, 3, 5, and 7, you actually want to restart the phone first. So I made this mistake right here. So once you restart the phone, before it boots up, you hold on to 1, 3, 5, and 7. Cancel the loading procedure first. Hold on to 1, 3, 5, and 7. And then it should ask you to enter the reset password. And 4, 5, 6 won't work here once again. But what you want to do is you want to enter the phone's MAC ID. So I have the MAC address typed up on the computer. It's also on the back of the phone. Now you just go ahead and enter it by selecting the appropriate keys. And hit OK and you're in. Then the configuration has been reset and the password 456 will work once again. Now I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware of the IP331. As you can see, I have my TFTP application. First thing I'm going to do is get into the phone, 456. Get into settings. I'm going to change the server type to TFTP. This is where you do it. Then I'm going to put in the IP address of the TFTP server so the phone can look for it when it boots up. And you can find the IP when you use the command prompt and just using IP config to find out what it is on your computer. So just save the configuration and then go ahead and check that the IP is correct as the one that leads to your computer with the uh, files. And I do is just restart your phone. Once it restarts, it's going to pick up the files from the TFTP server and the upgrade process will be automated. It may take a little bit of time, so just be patient. As you can see, it's, a, it's taking the file from the computer, <clears throat> even though it doesn't show it on the phone. And as you can see on the computer, on the application, it was taking the file. 
I should say uh, files actually, not file. <coughs> After that's done, it'll just automatically reboot. I guess it's automated, so it'll just let it do its thing. Now it's beginning the update process. If you're seeing all this, then that means it's a good sign and everything is uh, is going according to plan So this is pretty much the last stretch of the updating process. The entire procedure takes about a good 5 to 10 minutes as you can see. Now some of you are probably going to notice that the phone is now running revision 4.0.1 when before I had 4.0.3. I did this on purpose because 4.0.3 was the newer one and I wanted to show the upgrade procedure. Essentially that's how you do it and you can downgrade that upgrade as you please. Um, if you want information on how to obtain the files, um, you can either comment or send me a message but it can easily be googled and found on the Polycom website as well. Thanks for watching and um, good luck!